Hi Capricorn Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I am going to be doing your July 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019 finance and career reading. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so much, whether you are new or old to this channel for all your support, for tuning in and stopping by. It's just absolutely amazing to have you here and to be reading for you. I adore it. So thank you so much. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it will be the very first comment in the comment box below. You will also have links to the cards that I use there. So let's see now, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what the 1st to the 15th, 2019, has in store for you for finance and career. Capricorn, July 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Capricorn, July 1st to the 15th, 2019, finance and career. Capricorn. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Finance and Career, Capricorn. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Finance and Career, Capricorn. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Finance and Career, Capricorn. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. July 1st to the 15th, 2000, oh goodness. 19, Finance and Career, Capricorn. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me. Fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, okay, you have endless prosperity. So you have to know that first, right off the bat. This right here, the infinity sign with the pentacles in between, means to me endless prosperity, but you're not stabilized yet. There's something that you're feeling apprehensive about. There's something that you're feeling overwhelmed by. There's something that you love that is causing you anxiety. It can be your job. It can be, okay, so some of you are watching this and just said, I don't love my job, and I know that, okay? But you love the security, you love the money that's coming in, okay? Even if you want more money, you know, there is something here that you are connected to because you have the fox tail behind you, fox mate for life, okay? And what this is saying here is that there is a prosperity that is moving you towards what it is that you were put on this earth to do, right? That's what you are mated to, quote unquote. Okay, so there's a need to keep your feet firmly planted on the ground, to not let emotions and not let two people, there are two people here who, especially two people who are emotionally manipulating you, okay, and wanting to, all right, I'm just listening to spirit, okay, and are wanting to sabotage you when it comes to your finances. That's at the heart of this reading, okay? You're walking away. There's something here where, where, you, you're coming to this realization, you're, you're looking at things differently, and you're saying, you know what, no, I'm done. I can't do this. Now, is this you walking away from your job for some of you? Yes, it is. This is my divorce card, okay? This is something where you're ending it, and it's as severe as a divorce. Now, for some of you, it's just saying, you know what, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm following my path, whether that be with someone who you're working with who is manipulative, and you're like, no. I'm not doing this. I can't believe that I was taking advantage of this way and I am no longer being anybody's doormat. You know, that can be one thing. For others of you, you're frustrated. You're not getting the respect, the pay, the, the, yeah, just the respect that you deserve and you're walking away. Others of you, you're seeing this and you're changing a your mindset. You're changing the way that you're looking at things and you're saying, okay, you know what? I deserve better. And it's not that you're walking away. It's not that you're ending your career in this certain field, but it's that you're changing things up within yourself. And this could be in your personal life to obtain more financial success, and this can be in your work life. So it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But you work hard. Oh my gosh. And you have the repeat of the number eight. So this is you using your very practical Capricorn energy. You are absolutely embracing it. And this is you knowing, understanding, and working towards what it is that you desire. You're putting in the hard work. Okay, you're also going to have a burst of creativity. It's not going to come manically. So you're not going to just kind of wake up one day and be like, oh my gosh, and paint, you know, beautiful pictures or be able to, you know, solve huge problems. What's going to happen is it's going to come slowly and gradually. And you're going to find that while you're working insights, oh, yeah, insights, understandings, solutions to problems start coming your way. You have a Virgo energy right here. 
right? That is a time frame of August 23rd to September 22nd. It can be that you, yeah, for a lot of you Capricorns, you're going to see the payoff happening in this Virgo time period. No, well, not in the, yeah, in this Virgo time period of what you're working for and the balance that you're finding. But you're changing things. You're shedding a skin. You're letting your passion guide you. You are becoming more comfortable within what you want. And it's not seeing it as silly or absurd or, you know, talking down to yourself. It's really seeing your worth and moving forward with that worth being known. You're at a crossroads right here. As you turn inwards, your other choice with this Capricorn energy, you turn inwards. You have this earth sign energy with the Virgo here. And then you have this water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So as you turn inwards, you're being told to follow your heart. Now see where a Virgo shows up or if a Virgo shows up in your natal chart. Also see if a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer shows up in your natal chart. That's where spirit is telling you to look and focus at. You have a repeat of the number two, right? A repeat of the number eight. Not only are you working super hard and being super focused and super analytical, what you are doing here is you are communicating really well with people, even though you're going to be having some trouble with people that you're working with. And you're also finding a balance within yourself. Okay, but your communication skills are going to be on point. You're just knowing that there's a change that's moving you forward. You're rising above the chaos. You're moving towards what it is that you love and you're healing. <laughs> and as you do so, you have the Ten of Cups. Some of you are starting your own business or getting curious about how to start your own business or starting something from home. You're having blessings come into your home because the Ten of Cups for me is a home business card. It's kind of like saying, okay, this is what you're really good at. This is a blessing to you. You know, start. Now, it can be that you're getting curious. It can be that you're starting a website and saying, okay, we'll see how things go. You, you could be starting a YouTube channel. You could be doing a lot of little things or, you know, going to different fairs around where you live and, and selling your work or, you know, I just saw, I have a cousin. He sells World War II memorabilia. Right? He goes to estate sales and everything like that. And that's his passion. That's what he loves. Something like that. Something like that for, for you guys as you're moving forward. It can be something as seemingly hobbyish as that that turns into something that brings you prosperity, that brings you fulfillment, that helps you move forward. And you're walking away from a mindset that says, okay, I need to pay the bills. And the job that pays the bills is not going to be the job that makes me happy. Because a lot of people on this earth have this mindset. And it's kind of been drilled into us since we were children and having to go to school and having to, you know, do things that were told to us and everything. It's, it's just like you were putting a, put in a box and now you're breaking free from that box. There's choosing. I see a strong choice towards a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. You're kind of leaning more towards that. For some of you, you're leaning towards the Virgo, but it's more of a turning inwards, more of a looking at what you want and desire. You could be ending something with a Leo, okay, for some of you, because a Leo energy right here crowns it, but you have this triangle of eight. So right here, this triangle of eight is telling me that you are working so hard to achieve what it is that you want. Or if you're not working so hard and you thought, oh, Dane, you know, this is just a fun time, kind of, you know, don't be so serious. This is saying that if you wanted to see change come into your life, if you want to see things move forward, this is your time. This is your time to change things up. This is your time to go after the Ten of Cups, to go after happiness, joy, prosperity, and beauty. Leo energy is July 23rd to August 22nd, all right? So the ending of July is going to be where you see unlikely allies moving you forward. It's going to be where you see, actually, most, for a lot of you, it's going to be where you see your hard work really starting to pay off. Seven of Wands feeling as if you have to fight, as if it's a battle. But you know what? The more you fight, the more drained you're going to be, the less energy you're going to have for what it is that you truly want to do, the more you're going to feel unbalanced. This is not saying roll over and play dead. This is saying fight for what's yours and what's right and what you want. But don't waste your energy on people who are just idiots. All right? And I'm sorry to say that, but some of the people that you're trying to get to see your path and the way that you're moving forward, the way that they should be respecting you, they're never going to see it because they just don't understand. And that could be really hurtful. It really could be. But you have here a line of fire energy. 
you have here in your clarifying cards saying to you, your passion is unbelievable. When it comes to your career, you're going from defending to learning, to moving forward in mysteries being revealed. And that's what the hermit also does. Mysteries are revealed. Sometimes with the rabbit, sometimes you just freeze. And you're going to be really hard on yourself, Capricorn, when you do that. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, how can I be such an idiot? You know, I can't possibly, you know, get to where it is that I want to be if I'm not working 24 hours a day, seven days of work a week, pushing forward, pushing forward. No, you have to give yourself time. You have to give yourself time to just enjoy and be happy and, and just be you. And that's what I'm seeing from the Page of Wands. A strong Leo presence is here, a strong determination, a strong sense of, of strength. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Capricorn, July 1st to the 10th, 2019. No, July 1st to the 15th. Finance and career, Capricorn. July 1st to the 15th, 2019, Capricorn. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here. Prosperity, and this one right here. Choice. It is your choice. And I know it sounds really kind of cliche to say, it's your choice to be prosperous, but it is. It is your choice to be prosperous, and that is what Spirit is telling you. That's, and your fairies, if you believe in fairies. If not, it's spirit. Okay. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Capricorn, July 1st to the 10th, 2019. Capricorn, July 1st, no, July 1st to the 15th. I just finished doing July 1st to the 10th, so don't mind me. Capricorn, July 1st to the 15th, 2019. Finance and career. Capricorn, July 1st to the 15th, 2019. Finance and career. Capricorn, July 1st to the 15th, 2019. Finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly. And you know what's so great? Oh, I love that. Enthusiasm. And this one right here. And imagination. So you know what's so great about having just finished doing the first to the tenth of your general reading is that I can see the correlations between them. And I can see the fact that you're starting something new and brilliant. And that you're really moving forward, embracing love. Because love and what you love was the whole theme of that general reading. And here you are working so hard to get to that place that you want to be to embrace what it is that you love, what it is that you desire, and what it is that you want from your life. And we start off here with prosperity. And it says, the inner power supplied by spiritual prosperity lasts an eternity. So it's not just saying that you have prosperity when it comes to money, right? Money, you, you are working hard, you are obtaining your goals, you have endless prosperity when it comes to money, but you also have a spiritual prosperity that is worth its weight in gold. Embrace it. Understand it. Because you're going to find that when you do, you have insights like no other. Choice. You're in control of the choices set before you. Never think that you are not. It might feel as if the world is making the choices for you. It might feel as if you cannot get to where it is that you want to be. But here, you are in control of the choices set before you. You are in control of the way that you're moving forward. And you are in control of the fact that you are finding your stability and you're embracing your eternal security. Enthusiasm. Life is always better when you wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. That's just true. It's better when you're excited. I mean, just think of being little and having the holidays come around. There was an excitement to it. That's, I'm not saying to be that excited all the time, but to just have that excitement sometimes in adult life, I mean, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? So it's starting to embrace that excitement. It's starting to embrace that enthusiasm and that bounty. The color that shines through here is red, and that's healing and cleansing your root chakra. Imagination. Imagination intrigues the soul and illuminates the heart. Do not limit yourself. Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge because imagination breaks limitations, all right? So here, while you are working hard, while you are cultivating what it is that you desire, why you're turning inward is to embrace your imagination, to embrace your mind, to embrace looking outside of the box. That's going to lead you to a crossroads of what it is that you love, what it is that you want within your life that leads to blessings that you didn't think were possible. Follow your passion, but do not spend your time getting other people on board. Do not spend your time having other people understand because, or having everybody understand because some people just won't. They just won't. You're walking away, you're working your tuckers off, and if you, 
if you waste your energy, okay, this is your creative energy, this is your work, if you waste it fighting, you will lose time to create where it is that you want to be and the beauty that you want to move forward. You have eternal prosperity. Find your footing. That's the most important thing. If you do one thing during the first half of July, it is finding your footing. It is being proud and confident of where you stand. There is an old, it's either Greek or Roman statement about footprints. And it's, it's something along the lines, and I can't remember it completely, but it says his footprints are here. And that means that when you stood on the ground, your footprints were left long after you passed. And that's what they were talking about. So for you, you want your footprints to be there. You want to have stood and been so strong within your prosperity, within your life. And it doesn't mean financially you know, rich. It can be that you were just satisfied, happy, content. So you stood so strongly upon the earth that even when you're gone, the earth remembers your footprints. The earth remembers that you stood here. You're walking away from not living happiness. You're walking away from other people's nonsense. You're walking towards what it is that you desire. And by doing so, by having this ending here, whether it be you leave your job or you don't, and I'm not saying at all to quit your job if you do not have something lined up. I would never give that advice. Saying here, you're walking away to something that is beautiful for you. You will work your took us off. You will. You will work your tush off in order to get to where it is that you want to be. You will have bouts of creativity that are breathtaking. You are determined you're going to be a little bit too serious during the first half of July. So make sure you take time to kind of lighten things up and enjoy yourself. I love the progression from the eight to the nine, okay, with the numbers right here. And this is saying that as you have your seriousness, you turn inward. You look at what it is that you desire. You look at where it is that you want to be. You have a strong Virgo presence within this reading. This is also saying that the time period, July 23rd to September 22nd, is where you'll start to see the hard work paying off. But you're also going to have a time of contemplation, of inner counsel, for a lot of you, till that Virgo time period comes into hand. Right? Let your passion guide you. Guide your eyes, guide your feet. You're going through a transformation. You are at a crossroads of your life. And as you embrace that cro crossroads, you also embrace your wisdom. Your word, your power means more than you ever thought it did. You have more than you ever thought you had because you are standing firm within your life. You move forward in love, loving what you do. Strong water sign presence right here. I see this card coming across very, very, very determinedly. So a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer. For some of you here, it's the emotions, or it can be somebody trying to uh, manipulate your emotions, not so much a water sign. But your emotions can be running really, really high. The way that you look at things can be running really, really high as you turn inward. So just be prepared for that. Just be warned. Okay? It doesn't have to mean that everybody has this moment of just feeling like, oh my gosh, it's, it's a moment of anxiety, like, oh my gosh, how do I do this? Of feeling overwhelmed, whether it lasts, uh, you know, flicker or whether it lasts forever. Uh, not forever, but I mean, for the whole 15 days, it, it's okay. I mean, to be like, oh my gosh, for 15 days, but you still work through it. You, you just have a sense of urgency. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's what Spirit says. It's a sense of urgency. But you rise above chaotic emotions and you move towards the healing, the prosperity, and the abundance that you want. Blessings are coming into your home. This can be starting a new business. This can be or your own business, this can be, you know, really starting to see things and say, wow, you know what, I'm really happy. It can be that you have been working towards the McMansion, towards the really cool cars in the driveway, towards all the stuff, and then you realize that it is better to be king of a cottage than servant in a castle. It is better to be happy now than always be looking towards the next moment, towards the next great thing. This is falling in love. Now, for some of you, once you have achieved these goals or as you're working, as you're coming to these conclusions, you start to fall in love. 
and love was a huge theme of your first to the 10th reading, your general reading, a huge theme. So I'm not surprised at all that you have water sign, which for me, or the cups, which for me represent love. Also water sign represent love here. And then you have the cups, the 10 of cups. That's just, it's bliss. The 10 of cups is bliss. Now, am I saying that within 15 days, you will realize your bliss, you will move forward, you will never be upset again? No, that's unrealistic. But I'm saying that you're moving towards true happiness and that that happiness is worth its weight in gold because as you have that happiness, as you have that sense of connecting with your inner child and connecting with your soul's purpose, you work so much harder and you have inspiration coming your way. Unlikely, unlikely circumstances are going to be getting you forward. Unlikely people coming into your life, do not waste it. Do not waste your energy on fighting. Do not waste your time and your effort on people who just won't get it. Okay? Strength card. You have a strong Leo presence. This is July 23rd to August 20, 22nd. Okay? Unlikely allies come your way. Again, do not waste your time on fighting. And you're having passions and new beginnings. Esoteric knowledge is coming to you. And that was, again, seen within the first to the 10th of your general reading, esoteric knowledge leads you forward. A sense of opening your eyes to so much more than what people usually base their understanding on. Okay, and you are moving forward towards greatness. Passion. It can be a Leo you're, you're fighting against at times, and it can be that you're walking away in strength or you're walking away from this Leo and you're walking to another Leo who is just... Magnific magnificent for you because I see that duality or it can be this person ticks you off and you have a bit of a row and then you just absolutely you know fall into harmony with each other right at times you will be scared at times you will be overwhelmed do not let that define you and do not be mad at yourself when that happens you are embracing your choices right here and you're also embracing the way that you connect with people because you do so. You have your emotions connecting with people just brilliantly. Your subconscious message, I love it. The King of Wands, and you had this in your, in your general reading for the 1st and the 10th. This is you knowing what it is that you want. This is you being a king. When it comes to your work, you are seen. You are that actor upon the stage. That's how I see kings, actors upon the stage. Queens are the directors behind the scenes. So here... This is also amplifying that Leo energy right here. You're going from being a page to subconsciously being a king. You know what it is that you want. You're connecting with the God's head that is within you. You're going through a transformation and you're going to see that you are brilliant at what it is that you do and what it is that you want to do with your life. Will you be a savant? Will you be just absolutely blessed right off the bat? No. I mean, some of you maybe, but no, if you were a savant, you would know it, okay? Not everybody is born a genius. Not everybody is born so tremendously gifted. I mean, look at, what was it, Mozart and Beethoven. Their fathers pushed them to be musicians like nobody else. Beethoven's father would wake him up in a drunken rage and make that boy play the piano. Right? Mozart, was it Mozart or Beethoven whose sister was actually more talented, but she couldn't go on and become the musician, musician that he did. Okay? It takes practice. It takes effort. It takes hard work. That's what I see you embracing here. You cannot. You can walk away from it all. You can. But if you embrace the hard work, if you put in the time and you put in the effort, okay, and you put in your 10,000 hours and you let nobody stop you, you achieve greatness. Whether it be people's definition of greatness or whether it be contentment within your own life so that you can follow happiness and you can embrace happiness, it doesn't matter. To be truly happy in this world to be safe and secure and happy, that is being as rich as a king, or more so. Because there are a lot of people in this world who have plenty of money, and they are absolutely miserable. All right? But this is your career. This is your career, just being amazing. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. It makes me so happy that you've made it all the way through the video. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. Bye, guys.